Whew. This is going to be a big one, um, but I'm going to try to do it really quickly because hopefully you've watched some of the other videos um, so you have an idea. The main important thing when having a problem with multiple variables is we got to simplify both sides of the equation and then combine like terms on either on both sides of the equation and then together so we only are allowed with one variable because remember to solve an equation we got to isolate that variable get that variable by itself so we can say a equals this value or even see might since we have variable more than one variable we could actually be possible with no solution or infinite many but the main important thing what I'm gonna do is simplify so I see my parentheses I can't um, I can't simplify inside those parentheses but I do know I can just apply the distributive property. So here I have the number two in front. So I'm gonna multiply that by a, which would be two a, and two times negative four is a negative eight. Equals four a, and a lot of students say, oh, well there's no number there, so don't do it. Well remember, that negative is actually a negative one. You're taking the opposite of both of those values. So negative one times two a is a negative two a, and negative one times a positive four is a negative four. Remember, you're not taking the opposite of just 2a, it's the opposite of both of those terms. I'm saying opposite, you could also just say multiplying by negative one. So now, there's nothing left I can do here on the left side, but on the right side, what we notice is I can combine terms, right? 4a minus 2a is 2a. So I'll just rewrite the left side, 2a minus four. Now I'm just gonna stop right there and take a look at it and see what my possible options are. Remember, I always gotta get my a on the same side. But what I notice is I'm multiplying my a by two in both, on both sides of the equation. So after multiplying it by two, I'm subtracting eight on the left side, and I'm subtracting four on the right side. So if you say like double a, you know, twice a number, or double a number, and then one, one side you say subtract eight, and the other side you say subtract four, those are never gonna be the same because one side you're subtracting eight and the other you're subtracting four. Therefore, I automatically know this is gonna be no solution just because I can see that. That since, these are the, since both sides of the equations are not the same, um, are not producing the same result, that there's gonna be no solution. But I just wanna make sure to show you how you can always make sure you're um, doing that correctly. So what you could do is get your variables on the same side. So you subtract 2a, and what that will notice is that's gonna go to zero and that's gonna go to zero. And what you have is negative four equals, or negative eight equals negative four, which obviously you know is not equal. So since those are not equal to each other, we are going to have no solutions. There you go. Have any questions, comment below. Thanks again for watching.